I couldn't help but think, you know, about my brother today. And the long journey to justice nearing its end for the families whose loved ones were murdered by Kyle Flack. Verdict? Death. That's first on Fox at 530. And it's the punishment a jury in Franklin County, Kansas, is recommending for Kyle Flack. The jury convicted Flack of killing a mother, her infant daughter, and two others in Ottawa in the spring of 2013. Fox host Shannon O'Brien has been following the case from the beginning and was in the courtroom as the judge read the jury's verdict. It was an intense almost one month of witness testimony that ended with a jury recommending death for Kyle Flack. Everyone involved, including the jurors and the families, now glad it's over. Kyle Flack appeared upbeat as he entered the courtroom whistling just before Franklin County Judge Eric Goddard read the jury's recommendation. And so therefore unanimously sentenced the defendant to death. Flack giggled and shook his head after hearing he will most likely die. I don't know what goes on in his mind. Why? Jackson Anderson is the brother of 30-year-old Andrew Stout, one of the four people Flack has been convicted of killing in the spring of 2013. 31-year-old Stephen White, Stout's girlfriend, 21-year-old Kaylee Bailey, and her daughter, 18-month-old Lana, also died at Stout's home in Ottawa, killed by shotgun blasts to the head and back. The three adults found on the property, but the little girl was stuffed into a suitcase and thrown into a creek. How can you shoot a baby? You know, how can you shoot a woman? You know, how can you shoot other human beings? I mean, it's just, it's, it's awful. Anderson says his brother was going to marry Kaylee Bailey and raise Lana as his own. The thought of the child he calls his niece still brings a smile to Anderson's face. You know, it, she was one of those kids that you just love. That flack shot this little girl in the back after she watched her mother be murdered is a sticking point for Anderson, who is trying to move on from this tragedy. I can forgive him as a human being, you know, because my brother would forgive him, you know. Um, but as far as him shooting Lana, you know, a baby, I don't like it. Um, you know, it's going to take me a while to forgive him for that. Now, while the jury did recommend death, the ultimate decision lies with the judge who could instead sentence Flack to life in prison without the possibility of parole. However, judges usually do take the recommendation of the jury. The formal sentencing will happen here on May 18th. Shannon O'Brien, Fox 4 News, working for you in Franklin County.